We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Chicago Cubs and the Miami Marlins. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Sandy Alcantara will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy pitched well this last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. Stepping in, Eddie Batting James. Turn. He drove in no two of their three runs in that Eddie. ball game yesterday. Yeah. Hey, keep swinging that hot piece. Let's go, let's go. First pitch of the at-bat. Line to the get right up, side. Up, A leap, go, go, go. but he can't bring it down. Make the turn. Base hit. Make the turn. Long throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And he'll get in there safely. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. That so cool. every base runner the is on base. notice knowing oh, that this yeah. guy's got one of the strongest arms Andrew in the league, said. but they challenged him, and it worked. Offered and yeah. missed. Here's the throw. Oh, he and he is in there. So coming to the plate, Lewin Diaz. Batting. And the Marlins looking for the more in the game's play. opening frame. Diaz. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Alec Mills. Batting none. The pitcher, number 30, Alec Hit in the air out to left. James is in his tracks now, and that's out number two. Digging in, Eddie James. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. And this is on, into the two, alley and two, ought to be good go for two, extra bases. Go and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs and he is on one right now. No question he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. The batter. The third base so base. here's the cleanup Brian. hitter, Brian Anderson. He's Anderson. got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Left fielder looking up. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! So a three run blast to straight away left home run number two for him on the year and the Marlins open it up now four to nothing. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Ready once again, Eddie James will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to AB. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 51 on the year. And the Marlins have opened this up now. It's 5 nothing. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. 
So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he... So striding forward now, Omar Narvaez. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. At the plate, Eddie James. And he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to... Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Rosario is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Here's Javier Baez. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Cubs strand one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. A 5 nothing finish tonight. The Miami Here Marlins now, the jumped out to an tonight. early lead in the first, first and never looked back. Miami Sandy Marlins. Alcantara earned his fifth Eight win of the year no as he they racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So with the runner in scoring position at second base and one away in the inning, it would appear we'll have a pinch hitter here. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Marlins. Number zero, Eddie Jay. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bellinger looking up. Gone! Big dogs gotta eat. A two run blast to straight away right field, pushing him close to 400 at 391 for his career as they open it up to 6 to 2 now. I know height sights 20 20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Alex Messia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 96, Alex Messia. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Marlins capitalized on a huge seventh inning on the way to the win. Taylor Williams claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching yeah, MLB The Show. For more, for find tonight. us on Twitter first at the MLB The Show. Seven runs on ten hits. One error. They left seven men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Miami Marlins. Stay tuned for Marlins baseball next. Eliezer Hernandez, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But hard 90, hard 90, hard 90. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. One. Stepping into the box, Eddie James as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, Eddie James. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This one is crushed. Back, 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 and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center, number 392 of his career, and it's a 5-3 game now. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. So a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. The 2-2. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Looking up is the left fielder. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. Oh, that swing has to feel good. Now at the plate, Eddie James. Boy, this guy right here on that last A-B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the... Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Bellinger looking up. And that one is gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. Career home run number 393, as it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, 7-6 to six today. The Cubs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Adbert Alzale earns the win his second. Dan Winkler closes the door for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon.